how is everybody doing? I'm well myself. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is me, Jamie Naftali, on uh, the pediatric world. This is the channel that is all about kids' welfare, medical problems, and we also try finding solutions. We create the awareness on the common illnesses affecting children while growing up. Here, we want to involve uh, the caregivers, uh, the guardians, into the management of these children. We want them to know what, at least what happens uh, to the children while growing up, to get the knowledge, the know-how on these common illnesses. So I welcome you into today's episode. And we, today we are continuing with uh, the 10 steps in treatment of malnutrition in children. And we, are, we reached at uh, step number seven. So we have three more steps to go to treat severe acute malnutrition in children. So what is our number six? I mean number eight because we did seven. If you haven't watched, I, I refer you to the previous episodes. Watch all these steps, what is needed so that this uh, uh, malnutrition can be well treated. So our step number, number eight, sorry, number eight so step number eight is something we call catch up feed so remember in step number seven you are doing initial feeding it's about i mean feeding these babies so we started with the initial feed and we used f75 so number eight step is the catch up we have started with the initial feed now we are doing we are catching up catch up feed and here we use something we call f100 remember in initial feeding we were using f75 please note the difference so uh we said uh before we use uh the catch-up feed for us to use the f100 the child should have gained weight there should be uh weight gained in one to two days of the initial feed so after the f75 the child should gain weight in one to two days so that we are able to start the f100 so f100 um contains a uh, 100 mils per uh, of kilocalories per kg per body weight and also it consists of 2.9 grams of proteins again just to remind you we said malnutrition is lack of carbohydrates and also proteins so we need to supplement to add more of this so um so now he wants to do the catch-up feeding the catch up feeding so we keep giving up after the child we are saying after the child's appetite has returned so we want to give it after the child's appetite has returned and the child has uh, gained weight so we give, keep giving and if there is tolerance to feed we need to know if there is tolerance to feed is this child able to tolerate this feed this f100 or not so Uh, the third day, the feed should be increased by 10 ml the third day and continue increasing until they are left over. This is our main aim. If this child feeds, is able to tolerate the feeds that you're giving and we have leftovers, we have some of these feeds left, we are happy because we say our child is able to feed and leaving some other leftovers. So from the third day, uh, you increase the feeds by 10 slowly again you see if the child is able to tolerate the weight are we gaining weight also we should check uh, uh on all those things so until they are left of us uh, if the child is still breastfeeding encourage breastfeeding it's very very important let's encourage breastfeeding then so how do you tell that the child uh, you, you tell the catch-up growth is occurring. How do you tell that this our catch-up feed, the F100 is really working? How do you tell this? We do this by doing daily weighing. We weigh these children daily for three days. Um, see the difference in the three days. And you use the initial weight as the basis. So we want to use the starting a weight. The, it should be the basis, the initial weight. We see where we are by weighing every day for three days so then how do you interpret this uh weight gain so if the child has increased weight by 10 grams per kg per day this is good gain we are happy at least if we have gained 10 grams per kg per day we have this we call good gain 
If the child has gained between 5 to 10 grams per kg per day, this is moderate weight gain. It's not so bad. It's not so bad again. 5 to 10 grams per kg per weight. This is how we want to tell the catch-up growth is really occurring. It is happening and we are happy. If the child gains less than 5 grams per kg per day, this is poor gain. We are unhappy again because less than 5 grams is too little. And for these children, we will require reassessment. We need to reassess them again and see where the problem is. We reassess by checking their diets. We reassess by seeing if we still have infections. Remember, infection was part, is part of the 10 steps in managing the severe acute malnutrition. We want to reassess to see exactly where the problem is. So if you're not able to do daily weight, and we are saying this is the only way to tell us that um, the catch-up growth is occurring, what do you do? Remember the MOAC, the mid-upper arm circumference, the one we were measuring on the left arm. So this will tell us the child is uh, okay or not. So if the MOAC, the mid-upper arm circumference is above 13.5 centimeters, we are happy and we say this child is no longer malnourished. We are happy. Remember we said for a child who, is, who has severe acute malnutrition, the MOAC is below 11.5 centimeters. But if we are at 13.5 centimeters and above, we are good to go. So hope you understand these people. So that is it about the catch-up feed, the F100, and how to tell that we have really catched up. Uh, the, the catch up has really occurred by, by way daily, like we are saying. So now we go to step number nine. Step number nine in treatment of severe acute malnutrition is something we call sensory stimulation. Very, very important. What does this uh, entail? This is the TLC, the tender love and care. These children need um, tender love care by the caregivers, if it's a mother or whoever is taking care of them, because they are not recovering. So we really want to, to show them, to embrace them um, by giving them the love and also the care. So provide cheerful environmental, a stimulant and, uh, env environment. And this is by providing maybe toys, balls for these children to play with. You are showing them the environment should be friendly. This is what we mean. So buy them the balls, the toys, play with them, the physical activities, engage them, and also bond by the mother. Should The bond should be strong with the mothers. And this is by feeding the children, bathing them, and even cuddling. There's nothing as good as the mother cuddling their child. And here we are saying in severe acute malnutrition, we have come all the way from all these steps and the child is, re is now recovering. So you need to candle them and they feel love. So this step number nine, sensory stimulation, it's all about the love, the care, all that. How about number 10? Number 10 is the follow-up. Follow-up, you want to discharge these children. Remember all these 10 steps of severe acute malnutrition are happening in a hospital while this child is admitted. So this is to ensure they are ready, they are ready to go home, to discharge them, to take care of themselves when they are discharged home. So this is the step of following up. And you also want to teach the mothers on the nutritional supplements to give to their children. So the proteins in every meal, for example, have in mind that malnutrition is uh, these children are given less of carbohydrates and protein. So you need to explain to the mothers because you are discharging them. What are the foods that they should give to these children so that they don't find themselves coming back to the hospital for admission and we start shooting again from the first step to the last one. So you need to really explain to them so that they're able to know the supplements, uh, the nutritional supplements that they should give their children. And that is the follow up. So that is it guys. This is the 10 steps. Uh, the 10 steps in treatment of severe acute malnutrition. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Now we are done with severe acute malnutrition. Please, please, if you have any questions concerning this topic, please ask in the comment section in my email 
also my email is provided in the end of every video ask anything that you need to know about malnutrition because this is the end of it and if you haven't watched the previous ones on malnutrition because you have several episodes because you are going bit by bit for everybody to understand so keep tuned uh, thank you so much for listening for staying tuned thank you for those who have subscribed if you are that returning subscriber please hit on the subscribe button so that you can become part of this wonderful family turn on your notifications so that you are among the first people to know every time i post a new video here thank you for your time thanks so much till next time